AFTV DT, um, glad that you've calmed down a little bit, but sorry, I've got to boil up the blood again now because we've got to get into the player ratings. Um, I honestly don't know what to do with these, man. I really don't. Shocking I, performance today. I, I hate doing Absolutely these. Absolutely shocking. So quickly after the game as well, yeah. man. Because it's you know it don't matter if you did this five days after the game. I think you still feel the same way today. I still feel it's the same, cool. but I mean, you know what? Like you can kind of look back on players. Ooh. Well, I'm saying like, I don't think the likes of Tierney and that had bad games. He put some good crosses in. And, All right, let's start. Let's you start. know what I mean. Leno it's, in goal. Um, I felt he was a little slow with his distribution at times. Um, I think Leno, somebody needs to say to him, hurry up. He does mm. everything so slowly. Yeah. We were losing 1-0 and he's like... Yeah, it's not oh, good yeah, enough, is it? this guy? We're losing. It's not good enough. Five. Five? Yeah. Why, is that being generous? I feel so. I didn't think he had a great... I mean, listen, no chance with a goal, obviously. Mm. But... And then he did, that's the thing, he didn't actually have a lot to do. No. That's why I say. They only had two shots on target. That's what I'm saying, so. Okay, um, Bellerin. Give him a two. Because I think he had two throws and he actually threw them correctly. <laughs> so it's a point apiece. <laughs> At least you made me laugh today. I can't say, look, please just go on to the next player because I don't want to say what I want to say, please. Again, like it's, you said in your interview, a lot of faith put in him today. I, 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 really, I really feel, why? I really feel players like him have really let Mikel Arteta down. I genuinely... There's a lot I, of faith put in him. Robbie... Arteta I, would have said, right, listen, everyone's saying I should drop you. But you know what? I believe in you, son. Go out there and deliver. Mm. Come on. Robbie, I genuinely can't wait for the day that he leaves this football club. I'm going to celebrate. Really, really celebrate. I genuinely would take Viv Anderson at right back. <laughs> oh... Rob Oldham. Again, doesn't warrant being in the team. Is Saliba not better? Was he that? I don't think. Holden, I don't think Holden that. I don't. That I don't think that the defenders had enough. They didn't have nothing to do. Much but to do. what I'm saying is, is that it's still not. Not solid. No. Nah, what do you want me to give, man? It's, do you know what? It's similar to the Leno thing. Never had a lot to do. So you can't really say much more than a five. The reason Bellerin gets what he gets, it's not because it's a vendetta against him. It's because of the stupid fouls. The fact he can't cross the ball. He cuts inside all the time. He slows our play down. He's boring. His fucking shorts are on too tight. Everything. I can't stand him. Get him out of the club, man. He's fucking absolute awful. Brighton have got a better right back than us. Fact. He cost 2.5 million from Chelsea. He is a better right back than Hector Bellerin. My right back's better than fucking Hector Bellerin. All right, Tierney. I felt there was a couple of crosses that were poor, but there were some that were exceptional. Really, really good trying, crosses. Right? And he was trying. There, there's the comparison between fullbacks. All right. Tierney, he gets the ball and he tries skipping past the last player. He tries getting past, get to the byline, whipping crosses in. What does Bellerin do when he's one-on-one -on -one with the last man? Tell me where he goes. Does he go past him or does he go inside? Inside. There you go. Um, five. Gabriel. Again, um, I thought he had some shaky moments in the first part of the first half. And it's as though all the crap's rubbing off on him now. Do you know what I mean? Even his hair's looking like it's like he's losing <laughs> like the front of it because he's like so stressed when defending this shit. But apart, he didn't really have a lot to do either. That's the maddest mm. thing about it. So five again, because he didn't have a lot to do, did he? Okay, El Nenny. Could also have been sent off. <laughs> you know what I mean, there's a risk of him getting sent off as well. I mean, although I thought that would have been very harsh. Look, El Nini works when you've got a parte next to him and a certain job is needed. Apart from that, no. There's a reason why we sent him out on loan to Turkey. Because he's not good enough to be a starter for Arsenal Football Club. Again, it's another player that shouldn't be here. I've got nothing against him as a person because I think he's a really nice guy and I've met him as well. And he is actually a nice guy and he's all like, there's nothing he wrong. He gives everything. Yeah, everything. But it's just not good enough. So attitude and stuff, I can't fault it. I, it's not about him as a person. It's just as a footballer. It's not good enough for me. Um, five. Xhaka. Zero. Minus. I don't, I, please. It's kind just, of us the game, isn't it? Again. Kind of. Kind of. Well, it's cost us the game. We were completely on top and dominating. 
he gets sent off you're the game completely. Listen, too. you're lucky you're doing this before I find out what Mikel Arteta said about him. Because if I find out that Mikel ain't ripped him apart like he did Pepe, I'm going to go mad. Because that's inexcusable. There's no difference. It in was a terms bit soft of, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but so was the Pepe one. Pepe moved his head forward. And if anything, you remember a few days later, Fred done one in the Champions League and mm. he got a yellow. That was mm. worse than Pepe's. But you know, in this modern football, in this day and age, VAR, whatever it is, that's a red card. The moment we saw Pepe make the motion of his head go forward, red card. Mm. The moment I saw Granite Xhaka's hand go round his neck and it weren't like, you could see he actually squeezed. He's grabbed with aggression. Yeah, it was aggressive. It's and a red card. So I want to see. A, it's a straight red for yes, violent conduct. I want for three games. Yeah, and that's that has, that has effectively ruled him out of the Christmas period. Good. Because he'll miss Southampton, good. he'll miss Everton, and he'll miss Chelsea. Good. It's no, like, it's like I, Bellary. I mean, I mean the Listen. thing is, the thing is, whether whether you want him to play or not, that again. You've let the whole team down. You've let the team, not the club, for, yourself, not just everyone. just for this game. You've put the manager in a serious predicament yep. over the next three games yep. now because you probably one of the most experienced player in the team. Previously, the captain has gone and done something as dumb as that. And why ain't he the captain anymore? Because of that sort of thing. Because of the dumb, stupid thing that he did before. And this is the, the, the same thing, Robbie, that we will say. is that, you know, his actions... I want to see what Mikel Arteta has got to say, because mm. that is where I will open my mouth and say something if he does not get the same treatment mm. that Pepe did, because there was no difference in the stupidity and what they did and the fact that they let everybody down. He let mm. his teammates down, he let the club down, he let the fans down, he let everybody down. No difference. So I want to see the exact same treatment. I want him called out and I want him dealt okay. with properly in the Saka. same manner. You know what's really annoying me with, not with him, let's try and word it right, but we're putting so much expectation on a kid that we should never be putting all our expectations on. It's not fair. It's not right. What are you giving? Five. Uh, Lacazette. Massive chance. Massive, massive chance. chance. Again, massive chance. And then... The annoying thing is that he was a part of everything that was so good at the start of the second half and, and then he had to be sacrificed. So get Shaka, you let him down because mm. he's now... Desperately trying to find a goal, Shaka does that. Yeah, so, you know, if I was like, I've got to change room and punch him up. <laughs> Seriously. I've seen... Listen, <laughs> Robert, big guy. <laughs> listen, listen, big guy. Yo. Uh, look, I've seen players like go in changing rooms on Sunday mornings or whatever and punch players up for doing stupid things. You've let everybody down. He deserves a punch. Do you know what I mean? What, like, is it? Who, oh, oh, five. What, what was it? Who was it? What commentator was it said? Was it Evra that said about mm. one of the Manchester United performances and said that these players need punching. They need like mm. a, a good punch and stuff. Roy Keane. And Roy Keane. Mm. Or Ev Listen, they're commentators and that have played the game or anything else. So there's no difference. If I say a player needs a good, good punch, then they need a good punch. William. I actually don't think he had a bad game. I thought he was putting good crosses in the box, but he will be a scapegoat. But there was just that little bit lacking, just not enough. So six, but... Aubameyang scores the own goal. Ironic thing. Mate, do you, re do you realise Do you realise he's Burnley's second top goal scorer now? <laughs> oh my you got to laugh, innit? you got to laugh. I don't know what's happened to him, man. He's trying today, you could see it. Yeah, I you listen. See him it, but yeah, you could see the work. It's not the, happening for him, is it? The work, listen, when everything's going wrong, it goes mm. wrong. It's like the ball bounces off him. It doesn't fall in front of him. It's just it, nothing. When your luck's, what was it mm. we were saying in there? Your How, luck's out. Yeah, and your luck's out. And <sighs> yeah, I can't fault him for his work rate and that. And they did, did he really have any chances in front of the goal? He had a couple, nothing but. Nothing clear. I think a one header. I don't know. I think, I think it'd be harsh to give him any less than a four. Because okay. I thought his work rate was really good. And you can't All go right. into someone for scoring an own goal that was unlucky. He was trying to defend mm. the ball at the near post. Subs that came on, Sobias. Mm. Spun around a lot. Sloppy as well when he came. Yeah. Four. Eddie and Ketcher. 
went on long enough. Yeah, yeah, that long. one where it ricocheted in front of him, but yeah. he couldn't get the touch. So I don't even want to mark him because I don't think Five. he was. Oh, yeah. Maitland Niles. Again, when he come barely on, barely touched the ball. Barely touched the ball, but even when he did, I felt that he gave mm. away some needless fouls and stuff yeah. like that. So, not good enough. Okay, um, five, I guess, for him. And then, Mikel Arteta. Defeat at home to Birmingham. Yeah. Seven defeats. Is that four home defeats on the In back? a row. I cannot believe I'm talking about Arsenal Football Club right now. I can't give any more than, like, a two. Because I think that... What I will say about giving a two is that he clearly said and got something going from the players in the second half. That's yeah, very evident. 10, but you know yeah. what? I still don't see no pattern of play, DT. No, no, no. I, I not understand that. No, I still don't see how we're going to beat Well, teams, I see, you know I see I mean? a pattern of play and it's to go out wide and cross the ball. Yeah, that's and it. Then, and then ir ironically, we, take, we get corners and we don't cross the ball. We try and play around. If you notice that one mm. now, we're taking short corners yeah. and trying to play around and stuff. So what I will say is, is that we got Nothing's a reaction. Working. We got the reaction we wanted at the start of the second half, which was For a positive. Minutes. Yeah, but then why did it stop? Yeah. Because of right. that brain dead fucking idiot. That's why it stopped. So I think before that, there was a big reaction and it was a, a sustained 10 to 15 minute spell where we were like, yeah, this is much better. This is all right. It weren't just one shot. It was constant and Burnley were on the back foot. So you give him the marks for that in that respect. But then ultimately the player that he's put so much trust in has let him down massively. So what are you giving him? Two. And the fans today? I feel sorry for him. Which your parents were a part of? Ten. I feel, I feel absolutely sorry for him. You wait 10 months or so to go back into the stadium. I've waited 10 months. If I go in there Wednesday and that's the shower of shit that I get served up, believe me, you'll hear me. There won't be no clapping from me. There won't <laughs> be nothing. The only bonus is that I'm going back into a game where Bellerin and Shaka are suspended. They're lucky. All right, finally, um, the ref. Oh, Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Can't really say much about it. He got the decisions right. I'm sorry, but he mm. did. He went to VAR, letter of the law. Let's, let's be real, Robbie. Mm. And if anything, he could have sent Mohamed El Neni off. El Neni off as well. But I think in that one, he used his, his common, common sense. sense in a way and went, you know what? Well, Six play, of one, yeah, half yeah. a dozen of the other at I corners. I think if the ball was in play, they would have got penalties. Yeah, well. they would have. You know, and it was one of those. I think on those moments, those kind of things happen at corners. And I think mm. he was like, yeah, it's a bit of nothing. Let him get on with it. And... But the, the Granite Shaka one, he got right. I'm sorry, he got it right. So I don't want to give referees more than a five because I don't like them at the best of times. But I don't think he had that bad a game, to be fair. Okay, so five for the referee. Those are the player ratings. Do you guys agree? Um, let us know in the comments below. But again, it's another horror show at home by Arsenal. Whether fans are there or not. Say it how it is, Robbie. It's a shower of shit. And whether fans are there or not, it's the same old, same old.